Hi, Scary Recaps here. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Seance from 2021. Beware of spoilers. Alice tells her friends, Bethany, Rosalind, Ivan, Lenora, and Carrie, about a girl who committed suicide more than 20 years ago in the shower rooms they are currently standing in. Alice narrates the tale of her death and mentions that her heart stopped at 3.13 a.m. All the girls are staring at the mirror, waiting for the right hour, so that they can call her spirit. Carrie is the only one who expresses her doubts about this. When the clock shows 3.13 a.m., all the girls recite multiple times, as in a chorus, the words, Adelvine, ghost, rise up to us. The spirit is supposed to appear behind them, but Kerry tells them that nothing is happening. Suddenly, the sound of water is heard from one of the showers. Alice goes to investigate, and a figure rises from a bathtub, filled with blood. The girls are frightened, and Kerry runs away in terror. However, all this proves to be a prank, orchestrated by Alice and Bethany. Kerry, however, who has retreated into her dorm room, is alarmed by a strange noise. The girls hear her screaming and go to check up on her. They enter her room and notice that the window is open. They go towards it and find out that Kerry has jumped outside, killing herself. A while later, a new student, Camille Meadows, comes to the academy. The mistress, Miss Landry, informs her about the place and tells her about Kerry's death. A student aide, Helena, takes Camille to her room, informing her of some of the rules of the academy. Camille learns that her room belonged to the recently deceased Carrie Riley. As she's left alone to settle in, the light starts to flicker. In the lounge area, Alice and her friends bully Camille, but Camille is not easily intimidated. Alice accidentally spills Camille's glass of water, and Camille smacks her in the face. Alice and her friends retaliate by beating Camille until the headmistress Landry intervenes and calls them all to her office. Camille refuses to rat about the incident, and the headmistress puts her and the rest of the girls into detention. That night, a light bulb burns out, and Camille sees a scary apparition of a girl sitting in the corner. Carrie, perhaps? Camille then hears a noise under her bed, and, with her phone flashlight, bends over to see. She is surprised, however, by a presence under the bedsheet that seems to bleed on the top. Soon Camille wakes up, realizing that it was all a nightmare. In the morning, Trevor, the handyman, comes to Camille's room to fix the flickering lights. Terry is Landry's son, and it turns out he grew up in Edelveen when his mother was positioned there. Trevor says to Camille that the academy is haunted and jokes about the ghosts having something to do with the light problem. In class, Camille isn't paying much attention. The tutor informs the girls about Bethany having won a scholarship and afterwards sends them to the library, where Miss Landry issues the girls that are on detention the tasks of archiving and scanning the books so that they are searchable online. As the girls are left alone, Alice agrees on working together with Camille and the rest so that they are done sooner rather than later with the project. Camille and Helena go to the storage room where Yvonne and Lenora, wearing scary masks, play a prank on Camille. Helena tells Camille about Carrie's suicide and Alice informs them that they can communicate with Carrie's spirit. Back in the library, the girls gather around to perform a seance, but Camille notices one of them is missing. She informs Helena about the possible prank and advises her to play cool. Bethany explains the rules and Alice begins reciting words in Latin. As the girls hold on to the planchette, the writing instrument, Alice starts asking questions. The girls soon discover that they are actually communicating with Carrie's spirit. As an invisible force violently pushes their hands away and extinguishes the candle, Camille sees Lenora in front of her and becomes startled. Miss Landry enters the room then and she is clearly frustrated with the girls. Back in the lounge, Camille learns that Carrie died the night the girls tried to invoke the notorious Edelveen ghost. Later that night, as Lenora is texting a guy she recently met online, she notices a strange figure stalking her. Before she knows it, the figure stabs her in the belly and drags her away. In the meantime, Camille is alarmed by an unseen presence in her room. Helena comes and Camille asks her about Carrie. The next day during dance class, Miss Landry wonders about Camille's dancing skills 
and calls her and the rest of the girls into her office to ask her about Lenora's disappearance. The girls are completely ignorant of Lenora's whereabouts. Lenora's personal items are missing and her parents don't know anything. Miss Landry implies that Lenora could have run away from the school. The girls deny this and the headmistress dismisses the girls. Camille then suggests asking for Trevor's help to get into Lenora's room. Trevor comes along, and although a little reluctant at first, he agrees to unlock the door. The girls find a bag that Lenora would never leave behind. As they turn to leave, Yvonne uncovers the bed and discovers a bloody cross drawn on the mattress. Miss Landry comes and tells the girls that the police have been informed. Bethany reacts, but the headmistress thinks that this can well be another prank by them. She tells them to keep quiet and not let rumours circulate around the academy. In the library, Bethany finds out that the Edelvine ghost was Alicia Kane, who died in 1998, but with no mention of suicide by the police whatsoever. Later on, Rosalind goes to the showers and experiences a series of mysterious phenomena. Suddenly, a shady figure appears and kills her. Back in her room, Camille's finger is unexplainably smeared with blood, as she goes to the showers to rinse it off, she discovers Rosalind's dead body. The headmistress informs the students of this tragic event. Helena checks up on Camille and ends up hanging out with her, smoking marijuana. Helena expresses her doubts concerning the circumstances around Rosalind's death, and she worries. In order to make her feel better, Camille gives Helena a collapsible baton and tells her to hit in the skull anything that scares her. Meanwhile, Bethany talks with her mother on the phone and then lies down to sleep. A scratching sound makes her put on her glasses, and a masked figure appears in front of her. As Bethany screams, Camille and Helena rush to her room. They are joined shortly by the headmistress. Bethany says that the Edelvine ghost was in her room, but Miss Landry doesn't accept this explanation, saying that Bethany simply had a bad dream. The next day, Camille and Helena are summoned to the lounge, where they meet Alice, Bethany, and Yvonne, who are determined to call Rosalind's spirit in order to help shed some light on the cause of her death. Alice begins reciting words in Latin, and the planchette informs them of the connection with Rosalind. Alice asks her how she died, and the spirit answers that she was killed by Camille. Camille finds this absurd and says that it is a hoax, but Alice snaps and punches her in the nose. As Alice, Bethany and Yvonne take their precautions, Camille and Helena leave the lounge. Shortly after, Yvonne goes alone to practice for the dance class and gets killed by a masked person. Camille is startled when a hand momentarily grabs her wrist. She hides under the covers, saying that it's not alive, and as she turns her head, she sees Carrie's spirit looking at her, saying that she is not supposed to be there. Camille gets so scared that she goes to sleep with Helena. Meanwhile, Alice receives a text from Yvonne, saying that she is with Lenora and asks her to come outside. Camille wakes up and follows Alice, but the masked figure surprises her and knocks her unconscious. Alice searches for Yvonne outside and comes across Lenora's dead body tied to a tree. The masked person comes from behind and knocks Alice out. As Camille wakes up, she finds herself in the storage room, tied to a chair alongside an unconscious Alice. The masked figure comes then and prepares to hammer a nail into her kneecap. Another masked person intervenes, saying that Camille will scream. It is revealed then that Terry and Bethany are the masked murderers, openly admitting the deaths of Carrie and the rest of the girls. Camille asks why, and Bethany answers that they wanted the scholarship, so she stole Carrie's essay and killed her for it. She also had to kill the rest of the girls, because if they had read the essay, they would no doubt have realised it belonged to Carrie. Bethany goes on to reveal that she exploited the superstitions of the girls, and that she made them believe that they were indeed communicating with spirits. She says that she was the one moving the planchette all along. Terry says that he killed Alicia Kane with a hammer, and then faked her suicide by slicing her wrists. In the meantime, Helena wakes up and sees Carrie's ghost standing in front of the window. She turns away, and the ghost vanishes. Curious enough though, Helena walks to the window, and sees the flickering lights in the storage room. While Bethany praises Trevor, Camille is slowly trying to cut the ropes that bind her hands. Bethany, however, already knows of this and takes away the knife. She then proceeds to tell Camille how they are going to get away with the murders, letting everyone know that Camille and Alice killed themselves. As Trevor goes to kill Alice, 
Camille laughs and taunts him and Bethany. She tells them that she is not Camille Meadows. Bethany asks her about this, and Camille replies that she came to the academy to pay off a debt. Suddenly, the lights go out, and Bethany goes to fix the issue. Camille tells Trevor that this is his last chance to save his life. Trevor doesn't listen to her and puts his knife to her neck. Helena shows up unexpectedly and hits Trevor twice in the head with her baton. She unties Camille and the lights come back on. Camille unties Alice and together with Helena they move towards the exit. Yet Bethany comes then and stops them. She hits Helena in the head and attacks Camille. The two girls fight and Camille manages to smash a neon lamp on Bethany's head before she is knocked out by falling debris. Bethany is the first to regain consciousness and crawls to get her knife, but Camille comes and stabs her in the neck with a piece from the broken neon lamp and kills her. Camille then goes to Alice and Helena, but a noise makes her realize that Trevor is back up. As Trevor tries to find the girls, he locates Camille hiding behind a bookshelf. He pushes it and traps Camille. As he climbs on the bookshelf, however, Camille stabs him in the leg. Trevor falls down and breaks his leg. He tells her that he will be out of jail soon, and Camille decapitates him by throwing a filing cabinet onto him. Camille returns to her room and starts packing up. She finds a set of photographs showing her and Carrie and pauses for a moment. Eventually, she takes her things and leaves. Outside, Helena tells her about Carrie. Camille says that she and Carrie were best friends growing up together. She assumed the name Camille Meadows in order to get inside the academy and find out more about Carrie's death. Helena asks her how she is going to find her in the future, and Camille kisses her, saying that she will find her. Before she leaves, Camille sees Carrie's spirit in the window and waves at her. <laughs>